Hi, I'm Wade Johnston, Director of Squash at Baltimore Country Club. Uh, today I'm going to run through a little fitness uh, tempo circuit that you can use to uh, help improve your squash game. Uh, it'll also help improve your general cardio as well as your speed and power. Now when we're starting this off, we don't actually need to do it uh, as fast as you can. That's the ultimate goal, but when you're first starting it and learning it, we want to just start off with going nice and slow, work yourself into it, and then as you feel more comfortable, then you can increase the speed and the pace uh, over the course of the weeks. So the first exercise we're looking at is a squat into a dumbbell press. So you're gonna have two weights in either hand, Key things to look for is you want to make sure that your toes are pointing forwards, even a tiny bit out. Knees want to track over the toes and make sure that they don't cave in. Okay, so for this, uh, we want to do 10 exercises. So you squat down, up, push. Again, making sure that knees go over the toes, middle toe. Okay, so the next exercise is going to be a jump lunge. You're going to start with in the lunge position, whichever leg forwards doesn't matter, and then you're going to jump and land the other side. You can do 10 in total for each leg, so 20. Good. The next exercise is going to be the reverse pull up, and we're going to use a TRX strap. If you don't have a TRX strap, you can use a different exercise in place, like mountain climbers, which you will see further on in the video. For the reverse pull-up, we're going to do two different variations, and one is at the uh, advanced level, and another one is at the beginner intermediate level. And this is the beginner intermediate. Pulling up nice and easy. As you get more advanced with it, you can start making a greater angle. So this is the advanced. Right, the fourth exercise is gonna be a single leg squat. So again, what we're looking for here is to make sure the knee is tracking over the middle toe. We don't want the knee caving in side in like that. Um, we're gonna do 10 repetitions of this each leg. You're just trying to touch the surface with your butt and then come back up. Making sure that knee tracks out over the toe. And then switch to the other leg. And by 10, you should be feeling. Okay, the next exercise is going to be a little uh, medicine ball twist. Uh, if you have a wall that you can throw it upon and catch it, that's great. If you don't, just swing it side to side, it's perfectly fine. And you're gonna do 10 each side. Throwing out, catching, throw, catch. So getting your rotation, slight bend in the knees as you go. And again, you can use a jug of milk, you can use orange juice, anything with a little bit of weight if you don't have weights at home. So the next exercise is just gonna be the basic push-up, wide push-up, and we're gonna make sure that our back's not rounded and our hips don't fall down, so we're keeping a nice straight line as we go down. 10 repetitions of these. So the next exercise is going to be the deep step up, uh, deep lunge to step up. Uh, so again, you can use a chair which you can push against the wall in your house and step up on the chair. Just make sure that it's nice and stable. Uh, you don't want to fall off it obviously. When we're doing this motion, we want to be sinking down 
as low as you feel comfortable and then pushing up into uh, a step up and lifting the knee for some extra range of motion. And then alternate legs. And once again, making sure that your knee's tracking over your toe and not caving in. So the next exercise is gonna be mountain climbers. Uh, we're looking for 40 of these, 20 each leg, and making sure that our hips don't drop again, keeping our back in a neutral spine position, uh, nice and controlled and stable. It's a good core workout. Good. So the next exercise is going to be a jump to touch. So you want to find an area where you can uh, jump as high as you can to touch a target uh, so that you know as you're getting tired uh, that you're still either just getting it or you're very close. Uh, if you don't have anything that's uh, reasonable to reach for, just jump as high as you can uh, for 10 repetitions. And the last exercise is just simple jump rope and you're going to do 100 jumps and you can alternate how you use your feet. If you stop uh, or your feet get caught in the rope, doesn't matter. Start again, keep going until you get to 100. Don't worry, I wasn't going to 100. <laughs> like, so just to recap, you're going to have 10 exercises. All the exercises are going to be doing 10 repetitions. Uh, if you are doing alternate legs, then it needs to be 10 each side. Uh, the mountain climbers are going to be 20 each side and jump ropes is going to be for 100. So if you finish all 10 and you're feeling energetic still, give yourself a three to five minute rest and then you can do a second set. As I said, if you start off and it's very difficult, just do one set, but then as you get fitter and stronger, you can go to doing two sets, potentially even three sets, but trying to do it as fast as you can. Hope you enjoy the workout and I look forward to seeing you at BCC again soon. So the reverse pull up uh, looks like this. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't look like that at all. <laughs> all right, try that again.